What are you doing? This is not what I planned for the day. Realistically, if you think about it, the rectum is designed to keep poop off the floor. So if you put something far enough up, it will go suck it right up. And if you don't have a string on it or something to be able to get it, it can get pretty high and you end up in the emergency room looking at me. There are two ways to take it out. One is to make a big incision in your belly, kind of open it up and milk it down that way. We're going to try to not do that. So there are two muscles. One is the internal sphincter and one is the external sphincter. The external sphincter is the one that you kind of squeeze your butt cheeks and holds everything together. Um, the internal is involuntary, so it just kind of squeezes on its own. When it feels pressure, it relaxes. What we're going to do this time is we're actually going to go in the same way that you put it in <laughs> with a couple of long instruments, kind of blow your colon up, and then pull it out. And if we can pull it out that way, we'll be able to get you out of here today. Okay. The nice part about being a surgeon is being able to take her to the operating room. We get to put her to sleep. She's comfortable. She doesn't feel any pain. We can go in, do what we got to do. All right, young lady. We got everything squared away. We'll get you taken care of. So at this point, we're just kind of like not worried about exactly what you did or what you did with it. It's really more how do we get you taken care of to get you home so that we can continue to take care of everybody else. All right. Thank you, sir. Can you let the table up for me, please, ma'am? Let's get it done. Grasper, please. Yes, sir. Quick list of the things that I pulled out of a rectum. Bunch of dildos, shampoo bottles, beer bottle one time, um, one of those little small change purses that you squeeze. I did pull a crack pipe out of a lady's butt one time. She got arrested for smoking drugs and she put the crack pipe in her butt to hide it from the cops. You can see the vibrator and it's actually in there pretty deep. When I compare this to what I saw on the x-ray, it looks like it's um, not just a small vibrator. It's actually about eight inches long. The metal part that we were looking at is really just the battery and the motor. So what we're gonna do now is kind of go around it with the camera to see if she caused any damage up higher. You know, worst case scenario is if you stick something in your rectum, it actually goes through the rectal wall. If that's the case, you actually have a hole in your rectum and poop or whatever is leaking into your abdomen. And it just gets worse from there. So it's actually in there pretty deep. We're almost up into the sigmoid colon. This just became a bigger emergency. 